Hey guys, welcome to the all new Kia Seltos. This is Kia's new subcompact crossover. The one we have today is a base model S, but it has the upgraded 1.6 liter turbocharged engine that makes 175 horsepower and 195 pound feet of torque. This is also all wheel drive, which means it comes with a seven speed dual clutch transmission. Very nice, no CVT in this one, except for the front wheel drive Seltos models. Let's walk you around this thing, show you what it's like inside and out. We'll take it for a test drive later. And at the end of the video, we'll do a sound system test, test out this base audio system. So this is kind of a funny trim that they gave us this week. Ultimately, I think the Kia Seltos EX would probably be the best way to go. This is a little bit low on tech. As you can see, it has a, uh, a flip out key with a key that you actually put in the ignition, not a push button start, but it's got the upgraded drivetrain. So I think ultimately I would spec my Seltos to be front wheel drive and EX, just go with the base two liter naturally aspirated engine, even with the CVT would be just fine. But let's see what this thing is like. We've got a pretty cool looking crossover in this new Seltos. I think there's some pretty neat styling elements. It's not too big, it's not too small. You've got these cool looking roof rails up top. This is painted in Mars orange, which is kind of a fun color. We've got a pretty spacious trunk area here. Nice grab handle. Low loading height, and you can even raise this up if you want to. Spare tire underneath there. You can place this on the top level so that it matches with the seats as you fold those down. Lots of cargo capacity. Well done, Kia. Lots of head height, space in the back seat. It's all pretty roomy in this Seltos. No complaints there. I even have some space underneath the front seats to put my feet. Reasonably attractive looking interior in keeping with the rest of Kia's lineup. We've got an armrest right here. No USB ports or anything in the back of this test car, but hopefully we can get into a higher trim later down the road. Let's pop the hood and see what it looks like in the engine bay of the new Kia Seltos. There we go, there's a 1.6 turbo ticking away there with its direct injection. This is a little bit bigger than the Kia Soul, but not that much larger. Really nice size for a crossover. Enough space on the inside to fit kids, people, stuff, but not so big on the road that it feels unwieldy. On the inside, we have some pretty familiar design language. Lots of manual controls for the climate control. This is the smaller eight inch touchscreen. There is also a larger touchscreen option available. But of course, this is Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, all standard. Let's plug that in here. It all works really well. It's nice and responsive as you would expect. The screen gets a little bit low contrast at extreme angles but for the most part, it's not too bad. Just your standard Kia infotainment. Works well, it's responsive, it's quick. You get all the stuff you need. It's well within reach right here. I know it doesn't look that great and it's not too well integrated into the dashboard, but you have to have it close if it's a touchscreen and there aren't controls down here. Speaking of what's down here, we have a handbrake. Joy of joys. This all wheel drive system also has a center locking differential, which is cool, it'll split that torque 50-50 front and rear. We also have a couple of drive modes, normal, smart, and sport. I mean, this is a Kia Seltos. So we're just gonna drive it in more normal for the most of the day today. We have a pretty good looking reverse camera when it's not raining and sleeting outside. Overall, this Seltos has really nice ergonomics. Everything falls to hand very easily. This blue is a bit strange here, but I think in different trim levels that changes according to whatever you're doing. Lots of cheaper looking plastics, but again, this is a cheap car. It starts around $23,000, and uh, for what you get, not a bad deal. Let's take this thing for a drive and see what it's like on the road. Starting off with a seven-speed dual clutch. If I didn't read on the Monroney, this is a dual clutch transmission, 
I wouldn't have known it. This feels just like a regular automatic. It's very smooth. There are no rough starts. You don't feel clutches engaging. And uh, it feels pretty much just like a regular old torque converter, even though it's a DCT. This 1.6 turbo is pretty torquey, has a good amount of power, 175 horsepower still goes a pretty long way when it's turbocharged and in a smaller crossover. Ride quality is okay, there's a little bit of impact noise over potholes and uh, the suspension setup is on the stiffer side. Definitely not punishing, but if you compare this to like a Super Crosstrek for example, the Crosstrek is going to ride quite a bit better and uh, it'll also have a lot more ground clearance. Ground clearance on the Seltos is about seven and a half inches. I have very nice visibility in this Seltos. Dynamically, this really drives just fine. It's about how you would expect a modern Kia product to drive. The all-wheel drive system puts its power down really well, especially in inclement weather. These tires aren't the best in snow winter driving conditions, but they do the job. You can hear stop, start, engage there. Starts right up as soon as you let your foot off the brake. Let's see how this new Seltos handles. Let's put it into sport mode here. Turning is actually pretty sharp, I'm surprised. Good amount of power. Engine's a little bit droney in high RPMs, but for the most part, when you're just driving this thing around normally, it feels perfectly fine. It's actually very quiet for a four-cylinder turbo. On the highway, we have steering assist, which does work pretty well. No radar-guided cruise, unfortunately. You do have to upgrade for that. But steering assist does keep you nice and centered in the middle lane, and uh, useful for when you need to take your eyes off the road for a couple seconds, change the radio, or what have you. You can turn off stop start with a little button right here on the side. You do have to do that every time you start up a vehicle if that's what you want. So we've got some pretty rough pavement here. You can hear some of the impact noise over potholes. It's not too bad. There's just a little bit of noise from the tires on the pavement. We'll get back onto the highway here and hear what it's like at speed. The Seltos does have torque vectoring all-wheel drive. It is a brake controlled system, but it does do a nice job of putting the power down and getting you around a corner in a uh, very nice fashion. Let's see what the passing power is like here. Plenty of power for a vehicle like this. And you can hear there's just a little bit more road noise than you would get, let's say, at a Mazda CX-30 or something like that. After spending the last week in this, this is a pretty nice all-rounder. Uh, this is kind of a funny trim. It's not necessarily how I would spec my Seltos. But uh, I think overall there's good bones to this crossover. I don't really have a lot of complaints about it dynamically. There's nothing annoying or weird about it. I think it looks pretty attractive. They've done a really nice job with the design. You get a good amount of powertrain options. 
This gets good gas mileage. It's about 25 miles to the gallon in the city, 30 on the highway, which for turbo all-wheel drive is pretty good. And while we're just cruising here, let's go in and listen to some music. The bass sound system is pretty decent. tight turning radius. No complaints there with sound quality. No pedal shifters on this car, but we do have a manual shift mode down here. You put it into sport and it quickens up the shifts a little bit. There we go. But for the most part, really no complaints about this drivetrain. This is a nimble, kind of a fun car to chuck around town. I mean, this isn't as maybe enjoyable to drive as the Kia Soul, but it's not far off. And for the practicality and the looks, and the fact that it's just kind of a new vehicle, the Kia's lineup, it all adds up to a pretty nice driving experience. I'd say the suspension tuning in this feels a little bit more mature and a little bit nicer in this Seltos than the Kia Soul. Sometimes. Then you hit a pothole and it gets a little bit rough. But there is an overall lightness to the way this car drives that is quite satisfying. We'll also be posting a POV night drive and a few other videos on this car on the Winding Road Magazine YouTube channel and on the Daily Motor YouTube channel. So if you're interested, check those out. That'll wrap up my review on this Kia Seltos. It's been a nice car for this week. Let's walk you around this one more time. Show you the exterior lighting in the dark. Of course, we've got Kia's detonator lock button front end looks pretty cool with these LEDs. Yeah, not a bad looking crossover. All right, guys. Well, there's the new Kia Seltos for you. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Thanks for watching. We will see you in the next video. Take care.